hello guys so now we are making the next part in the wrench assembly so to start just click on the top the top plane click sketch draw a circle and add the dimension to it make the dimension point not five nine zero and draw another circle in the middle and make the dimension of that 0 0.07 and now go to your feature and extrude it extrude it by the mid plane and it will be 0.375 and click OK and click on the top plane and normal two so you should have something like this make sure the top is on this left hand corner and now click on this face and draw a sketch draw a sketch on this plane and draw a center line midpoint no a midpoint line it doesn't really matter just draw a line in the middle something like that and make the line a construction line and now draw another line at the bottom going at an angle and let me just zoom in and draw a circle like that make this circle and that line tangent to each other and select this edge and convert entity that edge and um, make sure this circle is sticking out something like that so now we're just going to trim this part so we'll trim that off we'll trim this trim that and trim this and trim that and i'm using the closest to trim to closest so you want to trim everything that you only have this internal part in there so let's add a dimension to this line that will be 45 and this arc will be uh, let me move it so you can see this arc will be 0 0.08 and this dimension will be 0.2 from here to here is 0.2 so you have something like that what you want to do is extrude cut it and you want to extrude cut it through all and click OK so you should have something like that click on this face again and draw another sketch and this might take a little bit time to get through so please bear with me so draw a line another line that is going up something um, no don't draw it going up draw a line that is something like that and make sure that line is add a dimension from this line to that line from that origin point to the edge of that line make it 0 0.110 and make that line a construction line then now draw an arc on this point and go click somewhere over here and just drop it down and click again so you click bring it here drop it down and click right so add another dimension to the top of that arc was going to be 0.137 and the dimension from here to here is going to be 0 0.109 and what else the radius of that arc is going to be 0.235 and our arc is fully defined so now draw another line coming down from that arc and the angle is going to be 36.5 and that is also and that is also defined so draw another line going up and make sure you don't have any constraint on it so we're going to add the dimension to that line the two will be 88 
and what else do we need on this we need to define this bottom so draw I mean add a dimension from this bottom point to the origin point is going to be let me reference my note is going to be 0 0.16106 okay so and this line is going up and the dimension between this line and the bottom line this line and the bottom line this is going to be 0 0.28 so you have something like that let me change my thing to 3 my units to 3 decimal places so you can see what's going on so this is 0 0.0 point zero two eight and that is fully defined and we're just going to draw one more line one more line down and and this line is going to be to this edge is going to be point one nine three and what else do we need and let's just finish that so i'm trying to this sketch this sketch has a lot of dimensions in it and i'm just trying to make sure that i get through everything so we have that so the dimension of this two is going to be 83 that is 83 the dimension from this point to that point and make sure you click something like that is going to be 0 0.009 and what else am I missing um, so we yeah, have that is still moving so another dimension that we need is um, we can add a dimension from this point no from this let me unselect from this point to this point it is going to be 0 0.009 0 0.009 and the only one we need now is the angle we're just going to add the angular dimension to this and that angular dimension is going to be 58.5 so our sketch is fully defined. So what all we need to do now is close this sketch. So let's just drag this somewhere out over here. Draw a line up and just draw something just to close it. But when you close it, make sure this line is vertical and, and just you can fully define your sketch so everything doesn't break later just going to add a dimension to it and this is what those dimension looks like if you need to see it I'm just going to leave it so you can pause it a little bit to see what it looks like that is what the dimension looks like and I'm just going to extrude cut and I'm going to extrude cut through all and click OK and we have that part and all we need to do now is just mirror it over those two feature we click on the mirror and drop down we want to mirror it about the right plane and we want to mirror this feature and that feature and click OK so we have our part mirror and the next thing we need to do is click on the top plane and normal to so again you should have something like that but this time now just stroll roll it down and just select this bottom face and draw a sketch on that face so the reason why I said is do it that way because I want to make sure you are selecting the bottom face and just go normal to normal to the bottom face and now draw a rectangle and make sure you use a, a center rectangle that's what I'm using and the this point the midpoint and the origin point are going to be vertical to each other 
and the distance between this loop and the origin point is going to be 0 0.058 and this is going to be 1.1 1. 1. and this dimension is going to be 0 0.08 and once you have something like that you are going to extrude cut it 0 0.04 Zero four up. We have one more thing to do, and we are done with this pipe. We are done with this part, and the next thing we need to do is click on the right plane. Not on the right plane. On the front plane is good. Click on the front plane and draw a sketch, and just draw. Uh, you can draw a center line somewhere over here. Or let's let's draw a midpoint line and start at the origin point and just drag it down and make sure that line is you you don't have to make it coincident let me drag it out so you see what I'm doing that and make it a construction line draw a line over here that is on this edge that is just coincident with that edge so you're still free to move it around but it's coincident with that top edge and the dimension is going to be from that top edge and this line click the top edge and this line wait a minute let me try that again the top edge and this line and make it 19.6 and click this point and click the center line and if you drag it out it gives you the diameter and make that point 535 and that sketch is fully defined again we want to close it so just make sure you close this sketch up something like that and just add a dimension to constrain everything to fully define your sketch and once you have that come to your feature revolve cut and click ok and you should have something like that cut on the top and the next thing you want to do is just mirror it down so we'll click the mirror about the top plane and we we'll select our feature and click OK and that is this part and you can just add your appearance to it I'm going to metal steel polish steel and that is this part make sure you save it um, as if any file name you choose because we are going to be combining it in the assembly and thank you. I will see you in the next tutorial for the next part. Bye.